what's up guys good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you are you are welcome to this new vlog christmas is still going on here in africa in uganda right now i am driving through my village uh, from my husband's side we are coming from mumparo now we are going to nyarushanje via chitanga via Shabaya, Chitanga, Kashambia, Kantare, Chisizi, uh, Nyarushanje, like that, guys. So, you are super, super welcome. If you know those villages, you know I am home. So, we are driving to see my parents also to check on them after visiting our uh, ancestral home in Imparo, Ruchiga. Now, we are on another trip going to see my mother's side from where I am born and this is family guys say hello how are you all Hi. we are going where Nyarushanji. <laughs> okay guys uh, I'll see you when we reach home maybe because now we are going to drive in the corners below the hills of Kabale road we drive with cars <laughs> with cows <laughs> ah, it is you to decide they move or you move and uh, very sharp corners because these are hilly or mountainous areas so you see that is a sharp corner you must be careful not to meet any other you see that that is another corner like that 
ekonoma kumya naza kashambia that's what it is yeah. life 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 is giving from here we are approaching a, a historical site where i made a video maybe i'll leave that video attached here there is a common waterfall uh, called CZ waterfall where it is a water cliff where they used to throw girls whenever they would get pregnant before they get married guys I have that video I'll leave it linked here you watch that video and know the full story of how this culture used to punish uh, anyone who would get pregnant out of wedlock before you get married you were not supposed to get pregnant so whenever your daughter would get pregnant your brother would, your son or the sister of the girl who has uh, gotten pregnant would throw that sister of hers over the cliff to die but later when the missionaries came they preached the, the true message of forgiveness of also letting them to live and maybe they could make a future and that uh, that what ended. that, that uh, culture ended uh, so everyone even when they make mistakes they are able to to live on organize, yeah. to reorganize and reset and uh, be a good uh, a good child and continue with education yes yeah, so it is just ahead, but I won't stop there. Maybe I will just point for you there a camera. Uh, yeah, but for the detailed story of that place, I visited it. You can check it out in the link that I'll leave linked here on this video. After watching this, proceed and go and watch that amazing, amazing, crazy video that I did. Right here, as you approach Sizior Guru, the main <laughs> business is uh, timber and uh, firewood. So this truck is here to pick timber. Uh, they, what is that? What is it to Sharimba? Timber cutting. <laughs> lumbering. So here they are telling me the word is lumbering. Kubisha Mbaho. You will find many around here at Sizioruguru. Uh, you see these are timbers, so they load them up to Kampala. These are the shambas where they cut all the trees or forests. You see that is very, very lucrative business here in uh, Sizioruguru. <laughs> you see that? All that is timber. Uh, so lorries, big lorries and trucks come to pick the poles, pick the timber, pick the firewood. Look, here. Look, this is it. This is timber. Ooh, there. All this. Uh, and these guys are rich around here. They have made a lot of money in this business. Uh, yeah, so we are approaching the waterfall where I was uh, telling you about that scissors. So down here So guys I have come out to show you that is the waterfall. It can't be seen, but this is the river that feeds the fall. The fall is where you are seeing the mist down there. They are stairs if you want to go. That is where you come. So they used to stand here on this cliff and the brother of the sister would throw 
uh, the pregnant girl around there. You see that mist coming out? That is the river. I mean that is the waterfall. But now I am on top of it. If you want to see how it looks, watch the video that I did here. Down here, I was at the bottom of it. Now I'm at the top. Yeah, guys. Ah, I just uh, came out to show you that view, but it didn't come out well. But for details to know the story, watch the video that I'm going to attach here. If you are new here, guys, I am Christine. Come see me. Kindly consider subscribing. Like the video by giving a thumbs up. Comment, share, and like. Um, yeah. Uh, we are going home to my mother's side. If you are joining at this time, you can watch full length of the... You can do... <laughs> Watch from the start to know where this story is ending. These are Christmas series. You can watch about three of them previously. And yeah. And near that fall, waterfall is at this hospital from the opposite side where I'm standing. That is a, a, a missionary hospital. The missionaries came and ministered here and left this hospital. As you approach Omuch corner of Chis, up here also is a, a hot spring. I did a video there and it got dark on me. You can, that is the hot spring uh, in this corner. I will also leave that video attached so that uh, you watch the feel of African villages. Uh -huh. So this is Chisi's hospital. Now we are at the lower side. This is the access route to the waterfall. It can't be seen here. Uh, this is... <laughs> and these are staff quarters of the hospital. My sister studied here at Chisi's hospital primary school. So I am in the neighborhood and here genderism and here is sees the school of nursing and midwifery so road to rukunjiri road to champagne rubari so we take that road because we are going in between there before you reach uh, so these are the minibuses that I was telling you. Public means of transport in any village is what you find. I think the pickups which we used to use previously have uh, faded out. Now they use major minibuses and those uh, cabins or oh, hillocks, uh, single cabins. Now do the carrying of luggages like that. Uh, like sacks of produce and what they no longer ferry people because now a better alternative of minibuses are here. Yeah. So this is Calcutta. That hill is called Ihunga. Uh, so we are driving home. The road is in another condition here. for competitions, inter-school competitions. Have you heard Fenella? <laughs> we used to come and play here for inter-competition, Karukata Primary School. The church is up there. Sometimes they might be 
that's why the vibration is on uh, you see these are cows grazing by the roadside uh, so each homestead usually here has uh, roughly like five uh, ten cows like that so they take them outside to to graze Kashambia uh, stage. This is uh, Kashambia. I have relatives here because my father was originally coming from behind these hills. So our relatives are in Kashambia uh, because of uh, service. Guys, Kashambia almost stage looks like this. <laughs> Kashambia.
Jiri. Going to Kabale there is a, a good, uh, it is a, a Christian school. It is called Bishop Chivenjere Girls School Muyebe. Guys, that is where I started my senior one up to senior four. Then I went to another school now in my own district, in Rukunjiri district, where I'm born. Yeah, so we would cross using this this crazy transport, like you're hanging on the truck. <laughs> I hope I'll see one coming from this side, but now time is gone. They usually come early in the morning taking passengers and then coming back this side um, in the evening. Let's see if we shall meet any kind of means of transport here. So down here is uh, the river that serves that water cliff where we are going. Down here, down here is the river. So, Rubirizi, Rubirizi Secondary School, right there. This is where we grew up, you guys. This is the village where we grew up much of the time. Rubirizi, Achidikonare. Graduation, he's now a graduate. 
a few weeks ago St. Peter's Secondary School in Nyamshan. Jack, we are at your school. Jack is my son. We, he's our nephew, so we were taking care of him for his degree and he excelled. So we are proud, proud of him. Uh, we are at his school now. These are the trucks we used to go on. This one's pickups. Going to school, that was our means of transport. And we are going under those hills. That is home, guys. <laughs> if you're coming from Kampala, this is Ihambiro. If you're coming from Kavale via Chisizi, this is Ihambiro. Where are you? Branch of from. So right here is our relatives, Bunono Central Day and Boarding Primary. Murimuta. Hey. 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 So, it is to stop and greet and say hello. All these around here is our best. So. Ego, ego. And below here, in this fence, this is a fence, guys. <laughs> ah, it's a primary school in our neighborhood. That is how it goes. Ah, not doing well at all. But yeah, even no sign, but we are approaching our home. This is our shop here. Uh, supermarket. supermarket that serves the whole village. <laughs> And there is another one ahead. <laughs> life, village life is amazing. We have right. We have right. Yeah, that is it. Hello. Morimuta. Uh, that is our shop, guys. Yeah. There. The shop that serves the entire community. <laughs> I don't know what my mother is constructing here. <laughs> Maybe she wants to put some business. Supermarket. We are home. We are approaching my home, like where I am born and raised. In these mountains and valleys. And this is the main this gate, guys. Family. For us, we have no... The farm is, <laughs> the farm is here. Ta-da! Guys, this is home. Whoa. Home, home, home. So we are home, 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 home. Guys, greeting each other. Unpacking, unpack. <laughs> okay, you unpack. Oh, why you wait? First wait. 
so guys it decided to start raining yet i have to cook i'm just walking in the rain walking in the rain it is drizzling it has reduced so i'm going to press my toke for you and guys i am in our home kitchen a traditional kitchen here outside kitchen and cooking rolls begin immediately no time to <laughs> ah, to waste ah here you are so i'm going to prepare my toke or steamed bananas uh, some chicken some goat stew uh, we shall mingle kalo or millet bread i think uh what else yeah and some rice and maybe later some salad let's say uh watermelon in case um light allows i'll show you our our dinner as we enjoy it but usually in africa you can't do much the darkness is too too much but we have uh, electricity <laughs> complaining <laughs> but i am delaying them so yeah i'll definitely see you again if only light allows if power stays but usually there is too much load shading Omobumba is what we are going to press let me put my camera here I'm going to work in this space yeah it should be ready so I am going to press it here and put it back on the fire it shall be our supper maybe the stew is this is our stew chicken stew and matoki it is a little dark here because even power has left has shut down and it is uh, later in the day so this is a hot saucepan let me use this to open So hot. So I am going to touch in this water so that I don't burn as I remove the banana leaves. Ooh, I'm burning. You keep touching so that you reduce the, the pressure. So this is it. I'm going to press it right there. So you fold this, which is going to help you to press matoke or bananas, steamed bananas. So you just simply press it. Like that, when you feel hot, you touch in cold water. Also, that water helps it to keep it soft. So you press it, bringing it in the middle, so that it is together for easy serving. So it is almost done. So what I do, I open up what I was using. Like that. Like that. Then you put it for easy finding when you serve him must stay together it's 
seems to be having too much water, so I'm reducing it so that it doesn't get so over soft. Over soft. See, the water is much. So this is my last one. I have to make sure it is in the middle and safe, no water entering it because I'm going to put it for second cooking. Second cooking. Yeah, so I put this spatula to raise it up so that water doesn't go in. It goes under. This is for the second cooking. Then you raise it a bit so that it is hanging. Only the water is steaming. Like that. This one was on top. This is going to serve it on plates. Uh, it is what we cover when we are going to take to the dining. And I've already put that on the fire. We use firewood here, you see it is all lit. So I am going to open and put this back. I'm going to open this. And I put this back for serving. We put it like that like that. When we are putting on the platters, matoke, we lay this one and use it to cover. So guys, this is how I am ending my video. Kindly consider subscribing, give a thumbs up. My battery is warning, so I have to cut it short here. I'll definitely see you on my next one. Bye for now. Supper is served. Mukaka has served our grandmother and all that is the generation. Say hi guys. Hi. Eh, you are so hungry or what? <laughs> so sleepy. But the food is here, so I'm going to serve them and we enjoy our meal with our this is my mother.